Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Aman Kumar, who has four plus years of relevant experience, and he recently has switched to a new company as a data analyst. The important point to know here is he has attended more than 15 Power BI interviews, even in this current market situation. So in this video, we will discuss how he was able to get these many number of interview calls, what was his job hunting strategies and more importantly, I will ask him to showcase the different Power BI interview questions which were frequently asked in the different interviews. So you will get to know the real time questions that were asked to him. So if you are looking out for a job in the market, so this video will be very important for you all. So do watch the video completely till the end. Okay, now let's start the video and before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Learn with Gigs, where you will find job related updates regularly with short videos on data analytics domain. Hi, Aman. How are you? Yeah. Hi, Sasan. I'm good. Okay. So, Aman, can you tell the audience about your educational background as well as you can throw some light on your professional experience? Uh, I'm from Bihar. So, I did my graduation in 2018, uh, mainly a nautical engineering. And currently I am work like I have total four years of experience and currently I'm working with Ektura Gurgaon as a senior data analyst. So we'll directly come to the point about your resume okay. because as I've already informed the audience that you have got a lot of interview calls from the power base. Yeah. So let's talk about your resume first. So if it is possible, can you share your screen and show your resume and talk about uh, it a little bit? Uh, resume play like uh, important role. So like Earlier, I'm not getting much call, so I updated on Nokri and updated on LinkedIn, but I'm not getting a call, like one or call, one to two call in a week. But uh, I did some research on my resume, so like uh, there is some thing I need to change in my resume or like work experience, I go through, add some. I am just sharing my like two two resume. I am also sharing my old resume and my new resume, updated resume. So. Okay, great. So let's start first with your old resume. What you have, what you had created earlier. Yeah. So like, yeah. So this one is my old uh, resume. So. Okay. So uh, this one is just created on Canva. So. Earlier I am using this resume. So earlier I got, I am getting the call like uh, in a week one or two uh, call. So I thought like, yeah, this is good. Uh, so from my po point of view, it's like good. Okay. So I can add uh, skills and everything's here. But so you uh, updated, so you updated this particular resume on Nokri.com, and from there only you were getting the call one week. I uh, guess so. Yes. So, okay. but uh, some after some time, like I'm not getting the call. So it, it, at the starting, I get in the call from like one or two call in a week. But after one or two week, uh, it's a stop. It's totally a stop. I'm not getting any call, okay. or I just get a mail that your resume is not selected. We are moving with for another candidate. So, uh, after that, then I uh, gone to the YouTube and did some research. Key how I can improve my resume. What were the what were the missing elements from this particular resume which was causing issue for you? Uh, like there is no highlight uh, accent word. Uh, we have I have not added any accent word. I am not highlighting. So what are the major skill? Like if I am working in the Power BI side and I do the rephrase. So main goal is to you need to rephrase uh, in decrease the rephrase rate. Like right now earlier this rephrase is taking six hour or like one hour, and you are working on the Power BI. Uh, your model is everything fine, and you are working. So you just reduce your rephrase rate. So you have to mention like I have reduced the rephrase rate. I have uh, this reduced the workload. So like that. So you just need to increase uh, like highlight the accent word. So action words were missing from your resume. What what? Ah uh, yes. Uh, accent word are missing or uh, like highlight point are missing like uh, right now if you see there is no highlight point like uh, what we say uh, if you working if you uh, like 25 percent I re reduce the time or 25 percent so there is no uh, like major point if the technical person is seeing your resume they will not go through line by line they just see like highlighted word or just see the like one or two words from right, your right. point now let, let's see the new resume that you created uh, I guess. So yeah, so this is the same. Every experience is all all the point are the same. I just uh, take the help from the chart GTP and do some modification. Like this, all resume are created on the chart GTP. Okay. So uh, many a times people have confusion that if they have experience more than two years, three years, or four years, so they kind of create more than two page resume or three page resume, right? So you have created one page resume. 
so that's what i also wanted to tell the audience that it is always recommended up to 4 years yes. or even up to 5 years also to create a one page resume only not extend more than that and as you can right. see on the screen aman has also created a one page resume even he has 4 plus years of experience yeah right so it, it's say important like to create one page of resume so also like i when you go through like, like two phase of resume is no use like uh, recruiter don't have this much of time to go through all the detail you just need to highlight your point like and also it is important when you are applying for the job so if you go to the job description you can uh, check like this skills is not but if you find like 20% or 30% is matching with your uh, resume you can just apply it. so, so were you uh, were you changing your resume as per the job description uh no like sometimes i highlighted like some of the point like uh, like one of the company uh, they just wanted to automate the data phrase so i added automated data rephrase and I highlighted also like 25% Uh, so reduce you, the timeline. So you used to do modifications only on uh, selective companies, right? Yes, like the targeted company. I just want to go through. Like Fractal, I did the same, and I also did for the Google operation, uh, GOC. Okay. So yeah. So can you talk about your also, technical? Can you talk about your technical skills? Yes. So like major of skill like SQL and Power BI. So I have also worked on the Google Studio. So I have also mentioned the Google Studio. and these are the like uh, qualification i have just like core skill the data analysis data visualization data modeling this all come in the power bi side right, so right. you can mention in your resume or you can not mention i just mention because it help me to highlight in the no like right, right, right. and also these are the keywords which helps in yes, your keyword, resume yes keyword yes keyword to right. get the job like right 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 so man you have given so many interviews till now so may i ask you what all technical skill that were asked in your interviews basically for the data analyst positions okay so major the sql side and etl process and power bi and dax so yeah they even start if, from the, even if you have if you are going as an experienced candidate the, the the more focus will be on sql and power bi only right yes sql is a like very very important so every uh, course like i am also applying for the power bi developer role but they start question from the sql side i told them ki right uh, first they will ask you like to rate yourself in the sql and then power bi and so if you rate and they will start suddenly a start into move to the sql side they will not ask more into the power bi side they just ask like two to three question from the power bi but the major of the part they ask will from the sql side so i believe like uh, in, in the starting of the uh, like when i am giving the starting the uh, interviews i also got rejected to the sql like uh, most of the like five to 10 interview i got rejected into to the sql side So as an as an experienced candidate is it required to have a project portfolio uh yes like uh, it will it is the good if you have the portfolio but uh, frankly speaking i don't have the portfolio i have to some of the like project so so like my studies when i am applying for the job like uh, in the linkedin i got a post like there is a hiring a, this is the hr email id so when i am sending my resume i just send my portfolio like uh, one of the two power bi project and one of the sql project attached on the same email and just means like this is my portfolio and this is my linkedin profile so yeah i do the this like every time but i don't have like a portfolio on navi pro and github so yeah i need to work on like yeah, but yeah it's important but like every hr recruiter will ask you like you have the any portfolio you can share with us aman so you got so many interview calls so what was your job hunting strategy that helped you to get these many calls i uh, guess yeah, so like two and three i definitely like first of is the linkedin linkedin profile so because that time i am more active on the linkedin so i have also like learning that time sql and power bi i am getting like new update on the fabric side so i started posting on daily basis like i post like one or two post daily and every day so that also helped me to increase follower also more connection and also i got in the referral from the other uh, other people on linkedin so also and second is like nokri so i every time every every day i update on the nokri so like my if i show you my nokri so it's like 100% but every day i go to the nokri i just change my name i, I correct like right now is aman kumar just just do the editing part like so you updated it, right you updated so that it shows that it last uh, yes today. so like yeah so it's like hail recruiter ki last active is uh, today or like something like that so i also apply like in the nokri or also i like more than 10 to 20 every day so like you in the nokri more than more than 10 to 20 plus jobs every day every day like the third part is my resume so like resume also help like major role because updating my resume i am getting the calls 
So before that, I'm not getting, yeah, before that, I'm also getting the call like one, two, three, but after updating the resume and after active on the LinkedIn and after active on the Nokri daily basis, so it helped me a lot. So if I have to summarize it, so active presence on LinkedIn, active right. presence on Nokri platform right. and your modified resume helped you to get it. Basically right. get yeah, the resume is like very important. Now, uh, as as I had talked with you earlier, so you said that you have noted down many of the Power BI interview questions which were asked in your real time interviews. So, can you show them on your on your screen and show it to the audience basically so that they get to know what kind of questions you uh, faced in your interviews? Yes, like uh, not all the question I uh, added because most of the question is coming from your platform. You have already cover all the question. So on daily basis, I my target is going through your platform and like go and five to ten uh, interview question, and and just practice that and also. So some of the question, if you see, like it's like you already cover all of this question. So I'm just sharing my screen. So friends, you can uh, like check out my channel on YouTube. Yes. So, so like it's really helpful for. for so all this question you are already cover in the different different base. So. This all are the question major of the time. If you watched the video till now, then do hit the like button of this video because it is completely free for you. And your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. And okay. also, I have not added the SQL question here because the SQL question is very much common, like third salary manager to like employ high salary and manager and salary that well question, and also like SQL side key. Okay, and now they will can ask you. Can you go on the top? Can you go on the top? Yes. So uh, you were asked difference between Power Query and Power Pivot, so that yes. can be answered. Can we create two active relationships? Okay. Yes. So this one is like uh, I will ask like two and three times. So can we create two active relation? And that time I don't know. Okay, I, we can create the two active relations. Uh, we cannot create the two active relations. I also shared my uh, post on this regarding. So yes, you cannot create the two active relation. You can also only create one active relation, and you can uh, other you can create inactive relations, right? So, right. So uh, then, you already covered this video, right? Right, right. I've covered this. So then you were asked about bi direction cross filtering. So okay, right. then gateways, then role level security. Yeah. So if I talk about role level security, so what level of role level security questions are asked in the interviews? Yes. Yeah, so like they will ask you the difference between role level security. So like different role level security and base level security. They will also ask. So base level just security. Need yes. So okay. also types of the role level security like dynamic and a statics. Okay. So you need to clarify key what are the difference between dynamic and a statics and like this. Okay. Or, then, or uh, also, uh, yeah, Power sorry. BI licenses. Yes. Okay, license from the Power BI service side, you need to be clear. Then, uh, yes. then is it possible to generate a calculated column in a direct query mode? So, yeah, okay, this is a tricky question. Uh, I guess so. You cannot create that uh, calculated column in direct query mode. So I already said, also said this post. So like uh, you can create like a calculated column on in both mode, but not in direct query. Okay. Then difference between copying and referencing a table. It's fine. Is it possible to apply data compression to a data set in import mode? So what was your approach in this? So this one. Yeah. The, this will be the tricky question. They will ask you, can we compress the data in Power BI? Like 10 GB of data is compressed to 1 GB. So they will ask you how much time like they uh, compress the data. So because Power BI uh, engine work on VertiPak, VertiPak engine, and it will compress your data set by 10 times. So they will ask, uh, the uh, interview will ask you, can we compress the data set? So you need, just need to like clarify. Yes, we can uh, compress the data set because Power BI engine. Yeah, so basically, we need to talk about VertiPack engine, right? Yes, uh, they will ask you like uh, this question also, like difference between uh, formula engine and a storage engine. Right, right. So if somebody has used DAX Studio, they will be able to know about these two terms, formula engine and storage engine, right? Exactly. Then it is about many to many relationships that also have covered some performance Power BI performance tips yes. that also it's covered. What if an analysis? So that also can be uh, answered. Uh, tax formula of moving total or running total. Right. So this all question you already covered. So I. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah, so difference between import and direct code and composite mode. Yeah. So composite, composite model is also a important concept in Power BI. Uh, I guess so. Like yeah. uh, they just want to understand ki how we can merge two different modes. So composite model is like uh, you are working with import and direct mode, and so combination of both are the composite we can. Work. 
right or right. also uh, i'm just missing here so they will also ask you the like connection and right. they will also ask you what are the disadvantage of like connection so okay. the disadvantage is like you cannot try, uh, write that some of the dax code are the limited there so you cannot add the dax code or also you cannot create the relationship in the uh, like connection mode right right so if i talk about the dax functions that you have got in the next part is calculate same period parallel period calendar auto calendar related and related table so yeah, so, about these functions yes so like uh, they interview me ask you so which function you use the most of the time so most of the time i just mention all these functions so because these are the like really important and okay. so because i cannot tell them ki i know 50 to 60 dax a dax uh, formula so we just need to verify 10 to 50 dax function you use on daily basis right right then there are some uh, few scenarios i can see yes okay okay so uh, friends you can see these uh, different scenarios that he was asked any particular question you would like to highlight over here which was uh, tricky for you in the uh, yes like this one so like uh, they will give you like a table and two table and they will ask you for the uh, merge, merge right time. right right so different kind of merge uh, options that we have. Uh, yes, they will. Uh, so what will be the resultant of uh, result merge, right. right merge? Also, mm. uh, yes, they will ask you the same question to write in the SQL side. So different types of joins. So. Right, 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 right. Okay. okay. I think Ankit Bansal video is really helpful for the SQL question also. So if you go through his channel, so we cover all the SQL question. So yeah, Aman, so thank you so much for sharing the questions. It will definitely help a lot of people who are currently looking out in the market for the job. And also thank you so much for coming and uh, sharing about your experience. Uh, definitely people will get a lot of insights from you. Uh, thank you, Sun, for having me on this channel.